what began as an experiment to bring my 11-year-old daughter into my business has evolved into Our Young Creators, a podcast, a training center, and a movement dedicated to equipping kids with real-world marketable skills so that they can fund their own brighter futures. We're here to inspire you to turn consumption time on devices into creation time and use technology as a tool to bond and not bicker with your kids. Join us each week as we share the inner workings of our partnership and bring you stories from guests of all ages and from all walks of life on our quest to nurture and to celebrate our young creators. With the start of the holiday season officially kicking off next week, do you have a plan for capturing all of your family memories? Today, we're going to talk about my favorite way to capture all of my family member memories, preserve those amazing family stories, and have something that I can pass along for generations to come. Welcome, everybody. My name is Young Pratt. I am the chief dreamer and podcaster right here at Our Young Creators, and I am thrilled that you are tuning in live, catching the replay, or listening on the podcast. Can you believe that Thanksgiving is next week already? I, for one, feel like this year has just flown by. And I think part of that is because I have been loving this new direction that we are heading here at Our Young Creators. I'm loving working with both of my girls now in my business as they're serving us, serving you, and also serving others. Next week, though, we're going to be surrounded by family. And as my parents get older. My dad is currently in a care facility after taking a fall and then having a near-death experience in the ICU for several several days recently and now back into care. I want to make sure that I'm doing my part to ask him questions, to have him tell me the stories of what life was like when he was growing up, so that if one day I forget about those things, my kids will have those stories. And the way that I'm going to do it, and the way that I love doing it these days, is by using my smartphone. Yep, the device that most of us carry around with us on our person, or in our near proximity is the same device that I'll be using to capture videos and audios of all the family memories that are unfolding during the upcoming holidays and to really dive into becoming the family historian, to go back in time, to ask those closest to my family and ask my family themselves all those questions that I want to make sure that my kids and their kids can learn from for generations to come. Now, I call this digital scrapbooking, and it's a little bit different than capturing pictures only because pictures give you a still shot. While you may be able to decipher some of the emotions that are surrounding that particular picture, it is one moment in time whereas an audio or a video can capture things like the raw emotions. If there's a story that's a happy one, you'll be able to hear that in a voice. 
if the story is happy, you'll be able to see the emotion on the face of the storyteller. Now, last week we talked about, are you a good storyteller? And really making a choice to rewrite some of the stories that you may have written that are holding you back. I know that I've had to do that lately. And now in this sense, I can be the storyteller for my kids and for generations to come by using the technology that we have at our fingertips. So I would love to know, have you ever thought about capturing your family's memories via audio and video and then sharing them in a bigger way with the world? Well, that is what we do every day here at Our Young Creators. All of the things that we create in our business and my kids included are things that we are capturing. We're making videos, we're making audios so we can go back later and access what we've created and enjoy those things. And that's what I would love for you to be able to create as well, especially when it's a time of year when family really comes into the forefront of our lives. While they're always there, the holidays are a really good time to really embrace our families, embrace those family members, and just reconnect with them on a, in, on a different level and in a different way. Because likely, our parents and our grandparents might be familiar with writing down their stories. And that's still a really, really great way to remember what has happened in the past so we can learn the lessons our parents and our grandparents and our great grandparents have learned and then use those lessons they've learned to help us do better in our lives and to not repeat those same mistakes again. Now, if you are interested in harnessing the power of devices and helping your kids do the same, so we can start to transition from always being consumers on our devices, you know, scrolling in our feeds or mindlessly staring at YouTube videos for hours on end, rather than just consuming content all the time. What would happen if you and your kiddos start to use some of that time to start creating things that other people can enjoy on YouTube, in their news feeds, on websites. That's what we love to do here at Our Young Creators, helping people harness the power of technology to become creators on their devices and not just consumers. By embracing technology rather than shunning it, we can actually start bonding with our kids. Rather than always wanting to take their devices away or limit their time because you feel like they're wasting their time, what if instead you could have conversations with your kids about what they're enjoying on the internet, so that you can start to bring them into your business or into your life to share those gifts. They're engaging with other people's stuff for a reason. They may be engaging because they like similar things. They may be engaging because they're looking for a tribe, a community that maybe they don't have at their school or within your neighborhood. Kids want to be heard just as much as we adults do. Their messages, their passions, their gifts also are things that they want to share. However, they need our permission in order to do that because they might think that their desire to become a YouTuber or a podcaster or a website designer, they may think that you wouldn't understand those things, so don't ask you questions about that or share their desire to do so. They're just sneaking off and enjoying those things in their own time. If we can open up the doors for them and let them know that one, they're being heard, number two, 
they're being appreciated. And number three, that the value of who they are and what they bring to the world needs to be shared just as much as what we can share ourselves. So if you are ready to harness the power of technology in a big way, so you can go out there and serve others with your message, with your gifts, with your talents, and those of your kids, I invite you to save your seat in round number three of podcasts in a weekend. We're kicking off this Friday, November 16th, and our first live video happens at 8 a.m. on that day, Pacific time. I would love to walk you and your kiddos through this process of making a bigger impact in the world, serving at a bigger level, and leaving a lasting legacy for generations to come. Because we have the upcoming holidays, we can start practicing right away with using our devices to capture video and audio. And who knows, maybe you'll start a podcast about your family's story. Maybe your family comes from a distant land and they had many adventures to get to where they are today. Wouldn't it be amazing to share that story, not only with your family, but to inspire others to dig a little deeper into their own family history and explore those stories on those adventures on their own podcast. We are in this together, my friends. We're in this adventure of raising creators, teaching them to become the innovators, the leaders and the creators of future generations. And it starts with you today. If you wanna save your seat in podcast in a weekend, you can head to bit.ly slash podcast in a weekend. Okay, my friends, I'm going to call that a wrap and I'll be back again on Thursday to answer any podcasting questions you may have. If you're interested in becoming a podcaster and maybe you foresee some challenges, pop them down below in the comments and let me know what they are. And if you have questions about starting a podcast yourself, for your business, or with your family, certainly pop those questions down below in the comments as well, and I'll be answering them live on Thursday. Until then, my friends, I wish you an amazing day. Remember to save your seat for round number three of podcast in a weekend at bit.ly slash podcast in a weekend. Cheers, my friends. If you're ready to harness the power of technology and get your message out into the world in a big way to make the impact you know you're meant to make for yourself, for your business or with your family, head over to bit.ly slash podcast in a weekend and save your seat in round number three, which kicks off on Friday, November 16th. Save your seat now for podcast in a weekend at bit.ly slash podcast in a weekend.